Hey, beautiful tribe, it's Pink Bella. Happy New Day. It's a Facebook Love, Facebook Live. It is the 19th of July. It is Thursday. Actually, it's the 18th. <laughs> Bear with me. This is a Facebook Love. Facebook. It is a post eclipse um, reading. And there's just lots of information that's been coming in this week through sessions. I wanted to share with you all. So, welcome, 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 whoever hops on. Thank you. And I affirm. That this will record and then I can download it and share it on YouTube later. So welcome everyone. My name is Pink Bella. This is my page, Pink Bella Aloha Therapy. And I just want to talk a little bit about post-eclipse um, things that are happening. And I have some messages from the sessions that have happened this week, what, what we're all clearing, how I've been doing, how I want to see how all you are doing. And I'm going to do a little bit of a reading today too. I pulled some cards for us for um, Divine Feminines and Masculines for the upcoming new moon, which is, this is all part of this process this month. This is a third gateway preparing us for the Lion's Gate at the beginning of August. I'm going to do, um, pull some soul mission life purpose cards as well and see what comes through. I have a little bit of a download and I just wanted to share with you all how, how things are going. So the beginning of the week, the last live, I pulled some, um, sacred geometry cards and the cosmic flower and the uh, flower of life and the cosmic heart has been coming forward a lot the number on the card was 18 and today is the 18th here in the pacific northwest and today i'm finally starting to feel a little bit integrated so say wherever you're from say hello and uh, let me know where you are on the planet i'm in vancouver british columbia which is north of uh, Washington State, north of Seattle. It's the um, first province. We're on the West Coast. We're on the Pacific Ocean. Welcome, everybody. And I'm affirming if I don't respond to your comments, it's because the um, comments may not be working. Keeping my fingers crossed. We're still in Mercury retrograde. Okay. So I have some cards that I've got it to show and channel in information. Um, and then I'm going to do a bit of a reading for us and what to do first. Okay, I'm going to do the. I'm going to share the transmission. Okay, so we are going through a massive um, light code activation. We have been really since June solstice, but there's been like um, doorways, various dates that were given as the ma you know a maximum amount of light and activation uh, as we're all shifting, and um, so now we're through the. There's three portal, main portals this month. There was actually four because of the 7-7 seven, seven gateway. So we have the new moon and solar eclipse at the beginning of the month, July 2nd, divine feminine activation and um, a rebalancing of our template within all of us. Then we had the 7-7 seven, seven portal. Then we just have completed and are completing, you might be going through post-eclipse hangover, um, the divine masculine reactivation and template. And that was the new moon in Capricorn. We've got another new moon. This is a month of two new moons. The next new moon is on the 31st of July, and it's another doorway, another gateway to prepare us for the Lion's Gate. And why is the Lion's Gate so important? It's been a pivotal point on our ascension and our awakening journey for years. It's just that maybe some of you might just be knowing about it now. Um, I've had profound experiences on the day of the portal, and the light codes are usually even more intense than what we've been experiencing now. So I'm just prepping you all for that, okay? Uh, somebody asked me uh, various questions on YouTube and here about the light codes that I share about because they're different. We're all at a different point in our process and our ascension and our awakening. We're all um, uh, activating different chakras, awakening, expanding our consciousness at different rates. But I'll just share two of them. And, um, and then what happens is, when I tap in with your higher self in personal sessions, I bring in personal information for you. So this is just for the collective. So when I speak about the diamond light codes, that's activating a new part of our light body and it's the diamond light body and it is an expansion of our 12 chakra system, okay? The plasma light is like phase two, it's another light body. And it actually, um, some of those codes can be quite painful because it's targeting old programming and it's bringing more of our light body online. So it can bring things like um, headaches, that sort of thing. What I also wanted to share is we're going through a rewrite, not only of our DNA and our chakra system, but also our um, upper chakras. Our mind is expanding. So 
there'll be times even in the last couple of videos where something will be coming through, but the words aren't coming out properly and you can hear that my voice is different. Um, that's because I'm going through a rewrite. It takes me a while to catch on. <laughs> I've been very fatigued. I've needed a lot of sleep. Um, I've had sessions this week and that's been challenging just because of all of that, but I'm, I'm out, out of the portal now and I want to just share that with all of you and see how you're doing. Okay. If this uh, resonates with you, please like, please share so more, more beautiful souls can um, understand what's happening, okay? So we are going through a massive DNA activation. All of us are, the collective consciousness as well, whether people are aware of it or, aware of it or not. And oftentimes this will bring up old programming, old belief systems, dissolving ego. So many souls will act out, they'll be angry and upset. Um, I shared earlier about a person in my reality that has transitioned and there's many um, souls that may be transitioning through these portals. It's like an open gateway for souls to come and go. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to share that the last few days for me, it's been, I've been feeling like coming down with a cold and a flu and that there's a, um, a rewrite of our like our expansion of our third eye which came through our reading at the beginning of the week so some of you might be experiencing sinus ears throat um, loss of voice I had another beautiful soul mention that to me as well so just know it's part of our process at this time okay for more of our magical I uh, like to call them Harry Potter abilities coming online all right that too uh, it might also be bringing on like spaciness dizziness and um, trying to remember. I mean, I will walk into a room and completely forget what I came in the room for. So that's like a rewriting in the moment, okay? All right, I'm gonna go through some of the cards that I was guided to show, and then I'm gonna pull some cards for us as well, okay? Uh, let me see. So this is just to remind us we're still in the portal. For some of you, you are going through either diamond light or plasma light activations. And again, these are poor, these are uh, key words. They're words in your DNA that are helping your your light body come online. And star seeds. So uh, anyone who resonates with being a star seed, you're being prepared to remember more, to have, to have more contact with your star family of light as your team of guides. And also this portal that we're in from 7-7 to 8-8, July 7th to August 8th is a Galactivation portal, and we are receiving uh, light code activations. Those of us who are star seeds from the Sirius star system, okay? And I've been sharing about this for years, so, um, but this might be new for some of you. And it's all good. It's all part of our process of awakening and remembering more and more as the days go on. And I was guided to share some of the same things that I shared, um, which, let's see if I have it, even Monday, because even since we've been through the portal, some of it might uh, make more sense now as well. So why don't I do that? I'll just stop with the cards for now. Um, so the, the solar eclipse in Capricorn was the divine feminine activation at the beginning of the month in Cancer. The Capricorn lunar eclipse that we're just experiencing and integrating is the divine masculine activation and rebalancing, okay? Um, we are clearing and collapsing timelines. We're choosing new timelines. It reminded me in a session today when we were sharing, there was a scene in one of the Star Wars movies where all the ships that were um, all jumped a portal at the same time. And that's kind of what we've done. We're kind of like gravitating and uh, remembering and getting back into our bodies basically. Okay. We do a lot of work outside of our bodies when we're sleeping as well. We still have six planets retrograde. Mercury will go direct at the end of this month on the 31st, the same day as the new moon. That's going to be another very powerful at power Powerful activation day. Um, I shared about this earlier too. The Schumann Residence is a monitoring system of energy spikes within the planet as the crystalline grid within the planet comes online more and more. So there are going to be days where it's it's usually at a 7.8. I can't remember the exact number, but that's usually it's very, very um, stationary and stable. And it, sometimes it's been spiking up to over 110. Those are the days that feel really, really intense. We're also in the process of a solar storm for the next couple of days. So we're getting it on all angles. And this again is to dissolve ego, dissolve old programs, to bring everyone's heart chakra fully online. This is the only way to new earth and 5D is with our heart chakra. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be waves of light coming in, activations, clearing old programming. What's clearing old programming? 
anything that irritates us, any person, place, or thing, even driving, we have to work our way around and get back into our center and stay calm and keep our heart open, okay? Something that came in the YouTube live on Tuesday is like, we, you know, we go through these clearing um, periods. Sometimes we're crying a lot. Sometimes we're angry. Sometimes we're so fatigued. Sometimes we can't sleep. Um, and then what happens is we want to our hearts to be open. We want to have compassion for what everyone is going through. And we also want to pay it forward with kindness. The planet needs so much kindness and love right now. And um, sometimes you need to give out to yourself. Sometimes it's to other people and places and things. You know, sometimes it's your light. You're being guided to go somewhere. Sometimes you need to be out in nature a lot. And um, animals as well really, really need our love and support right now too. Okay. So the Schumann resonance had recently spiked to 110. That's the frequency that new earth, that's what we're getting used to. Um, the earth is going to increase more and more in frequency and that as we awaken, Gaia awakens and vice versa. Okay, I think that that's all for now. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the cards and then I'll share a little bit more. All right, um, some of the timelines that have been coming forward to clear in sessions. Uh, thank you everyone who's booked sessions and readings. I appreciate it all, uh, all of you. And uh, the Avalon Glastonbury Tour timeline has been big this week as well. So I wanted to share that with all of you. That's new. Um, that's a process. It's the heart chakra of the planet. But there are, when I say clearing timelines, there are parts of our existence that might still be there. Um, so when we clear timelines, we actually bring those parts of our soul. You can call them soul fragments, essences. I work with you and your team to bring that home to you. Though that also happens in this life. So I shared this before too. Previously, there um, might have been something that happened in childhood. Maybe something happened with you and your twin flame that's still causing heartache. That's another timeline. That essence as well can be brought home to you and that timeline can be released. So that's part of our healing at this time, okay? And it's been super awesome and I'm grateful for it. So that's uh, Avalon is one of the new timelines. Oh, the pyramids came forward not once, but three cards today. Egypt and the pyramids, there's a, a ley line that goes from the Glastonbury Tor. It goes actually above that. It's, uh, it starts above that, but it goes through the Glastonbury Tor, through, a, through Stonehenge, through parts of Europe, all the way down to Italy, through Greece, because I was there when the ley line got um, lit up last year in the 1010 portal, the pyramids, and then after that, it's a dragon ley line. That is a ley line that I have been connected to many, many times, and it's bringing up a lot of Egyptian timeline clearing at this time, okay? So um, Egypt, we learned a lot in that timeline, but it's a timeline as well that we can call those parts of ourselves home now and close it, because there's lots of things that happened in Egypt that um, weren't always positive. We created a lot of vows in some of these timelines that are preventing us from moving forward on soul mission with the union uh, uh, abundance, all of that, okay? And of course, we want all of our abilities in this timeline now. We, sometimes we created vows in other timelines at the time. It seemed fine. But now it's like it's time to close those timelines and bring our essence home to this reality, okay? Um, what else did I want to talk about? I might as well just show the other Egyptian cards because they're at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull some chakra messages for masculine and feminine shortly. So this was at, this is the Sphinx. This is at the bottom of the masculine deck. So um, just, to, just to say yes. The Egyptian timeline is very key right now for us to uh, call home. Plus, some of you might be resonating with uh, either going there, um, maybe you're meditating and you're connecting with the pyramids or other pyramid images are coming to you. So just know that that could be part of your remembering, okay? And then this is the one that often comes forward for the Lionsgate, the 8-8 portal, as the um, solar system and stars line up above the pyramids. And then the bright star is the Sirius star system, okay? So yes, time to bring all that energy back to the now, for sure. Okay, last but not least, just a reminder about the six planets that are retrograde at this time that are connected to our chakra system. And what's been coming forward as well is to align our chakras with wherever the planets are. So I've been, um, I've been doing that as well in sessions and for myself in meditation, okay? All right. Let me just see what to show next. And then I hope everybody is doing better as well. Um, okay, I'm gonna show okay, I'm gonna show the cards that I pulled for the 
uh, messages today. And then I'm going to do kind of a mini uh, Twin Flame Union reading today and talk a little bit more about the Lionsgate as well. And while I'm shuffling the cards, I'll let you all know about the specials. Thank you everyone who's booked so far. And also Soul Mission cards, because Soul Mission is super key right now for many of you. It's time, to, it's getting our plan together for the next phase of either starting our Soul Mission life purpose or um, moving forward with it, okay? All right, and why is that? Because we all came here to do so much, to lift the vibration of ourselves, our friends, our family, where we're living, and the planet. We came here to be game changers. We came here to be the ground crew to shift this reality into the next reality, okay? Which is going to be high vibrate realities. We're going to have like new, new everything, new technology, new uh, ways of doing things, sharing, being. It's going to be really, really a fantastic move forward for all of us. Okay, so. Let me just see. At the bottom of the tarot deck, I just I just asked for some specific messages for all of us as a collective, and then I'm going to pull divine feminine and masculine messages. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck is number eleven, balance. Um, some of you may have been seeing a lot of eleven elevens recently, and um, that's a message not just about twin flames and divine unions. It's a message from source in the universe that we're on target, that we're being fully supported. All right. And it's also right now about uh, keeping being in balance, which is a juggling act every day in this reality, okay? Two messages came forward. Some of you might be dealing with a sadness, uh, heartache, loss, either around the union or someone else, but those wounds are sort of coming up and being um, looked at right now and healed, okay? So memories of love and heartache and loss right now. So that's part of, um, that's part of what happened with me, when a friend suddenly transitioned, all of this emotion came up and out of my being and it didn't have anything to do with, with uh, my twin flame journey, but it did bring up um, that I had been carrying heartache and loss from when my mom had transitioned in 2007. I didn't know it was there. So oftentimes we will experience something to trigger the emotion to leave our mental and emotional bodies, okay? So some of you might be going through that process now as the planets are retrograde. It's a great time to sort of go within and heal and clear. This is preparing all of us for our destiny, okay? Number 10, new beginnings, our destiny. And for many of you, your destiny is connected to the Lion's Gate, which is coming up as well. So I wanted to share about that. Okay, the Lion's Gate. I will be bringing in more information about the Lion's Gate as we get closer and as I'm being given that information. It's like they don't want us to go too far ahead. <laughs> if we're focusing on the Lion's Gate, we're not staying present. So really we're integrating this portal, this ex uh, consciousness expansion, which I have been finding super frustrating because trying to concentrate on anything has been a challenge. However, I'm starting to feel more back in my body now, which is good. Okay, I'm going to pull tarot cards. And I know that some of you know that the sessions I've been um, giving guidelines and timelines for Twin Flames for either a timeline this year or next year. The Lionsgate is a key gateway for uh, unions. Um, not, maybe not to see or be with the twin flame, but just know that it's a huge activation portal for you all. So let me just, while I'm shuffling, what are we focusing on? Okay, hold on. Just going to ask for the best messages right now. Two cards for Divine Masculines. For now, heading towards the Lion's Gate, and today is the 18th of July. And just see where all of you masculines are at. I'm going to pull some chakra messages shortly too. Destiny. New beginnings. It's huge activation for all of you masculines right now if you're watching and or if you watch later. Or if any of you have a divine masculine that you're wondering what's going on. This is for, generally for the collective. Um, I love it. Number seven. And this is um, in one of the decks, it's Archangel Metatron. Uh, this is the chariot, so movement forward, which is beautiful. So there's going to be a very large expansion and um, awakening um, for the destined unions, for the uh, masculines uh, from now through the lion's gate. And at the bottom of the deck is higher self. So a lot of you as masculines and or 
uh, the divine masculine is going to be having a higher self activation and integration and awakening, which is beautiful. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to share too is this is a collective message. So if any of you would like personal information about your own journey and your own timeline, you can check out the Twin Flame uh, specials or personal healing specials that are on right now. And I'll share a little bit more about those when I pull some other cards. I want to concentrate <laughs> on this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So these are going to be the best messages. Oh, I love it. Best messages for Divine Feminine. Again, beautiful Divine Feminines. We are healing our hearts around many things at this time. And by this change. But it's okay. See that circular, that circular. It's okay to let it go now. It's okay to put it down. It's okay to let go of the pain. It could be to do with your twin flame and you not being with this person. It could be a feeling of loss from someone else or something else. Just know, let it out, let it go, release it, and um, get back into your heart and enjoy it again, okay? I want to shuffle and pull one more card, but I want to show that card at the bottom of the deck that's coming. Um, one more card for Divine Feminines. Oh, my goodness gracious, the Tower card. I'm going to pull a third card. So for me, the Tower card is, a, is just a huge transformation. So as Divine Feminines, we're going through another wave of massive transformation for more of our abilities to come online. This isn't a scary card. It used to scare me, but it, it's just about massive rewrite transformation divine feminines okay one more card around that i feel it's because what i feel the transformation what i'm getting is is because we're letting go of the wounds it's time to put the wounds down it's time to put the blame game down and just to get back into our hearts and joy and happy okay one more card around that as well oh beautiful empress that's why yeah i'm getting goosebumps that's why um, there's been some disruption and, and transformation and moving around and some being, um, oh, being bad, feeling like you've, we've been batted around a little bit because we have, but that's okay. It's time just to bring that all home and, uh, become the empress, become the empowered empress. Absolutely. Okay, that's beautiful. So that's what some of us have been experiencing the last couple of weeks and what, what the leading up to the lion's gate is all about bottom of the deck was the balance card again number 11 so that's what i wanted to show you okay integration and balance divine feminine divine masculine head and heart and um it's to help us all move forward oh you're gonna love this source on the universe we're being fully supported on our journey and the 21st is coming up 21st is in a couple of days okay so we're fully supported beautiful okay as I'm shuffling the chakra, the chakra messages, I can share about um, some of the specials right now. Okay, I heard Divine Feminine first. All right. And I'm going to put all the cards back on the deck. So I'm using the um, Heart Sigils deck by Stuart Pierce. They've been my go-to deck for a long time. I was gifted the 12 chakra readings way back in uh, early 2013. So um, I'm very grateful for that. Okay, so for your personal journey, this is, these are collective readings for your personal journey uh, for Twin Flames or if you're Starseed or um, you know that you've had a lot of past lives or you, you're experiencing patterns. I talked about that recently, about we notice the patterns in our life. Sometimes the patterns are um, things that we picked up from our parents and, and the bloodline lineage. Sometimes the patterns are past lives or other timelines, okay? So, um, Right now, I'm already booking for the new moon and the Lionsgate. It's kind of first come, first serve. But there are, um, for Twin Flame or personal sessions, there are sessions with either healing or non-healing. The ones with healing, clear timelines, and um, the Akashic Records session. Even though I've said emerald green or pink rays, there, I'm actually bringing in both rays. I, want, I was reminded to let you all know that. I'm bringing in like a double ray for this session. So if any of you feel called and you feel like you want to prepare for the Lion's Gate, um, check out my website and email me and I'll set something up. What else? I'm also uh, offering for soul mission sessions. The, um, there's bundles of sessions that you can purchase now as well if you want to work with me on a consistent basis. So that's new, and I was reminded again today, and I've moved this up to the top of my website. There are 
um, energy distance sessions for your animals, for your cats and your dogs and what birds, whatever. They are also being impacted by the um, by the Schumann residents because they're connected more to the earth and also the light codes coming in. So those are on special and they are, at the, I've moved it to the top of my website. Okay. So I keep forgetting, but I wanted to remind you all about that because I have been getting some questions about that as well. My website is still under construction. I hope to have it finished in the next couple of weeks. So bear with me. Just email me if you have any questions and what else? The, oh, the coaching packages are with or without healing, and there's going to be like a mentorship. Um, I'm restarting that, and there's two spots in August. So if you're interested in that, let me know, okay? That's to help you all get move forward with whatever you're working on. Soul mission, life purpose, union, um, you know, anything big that you need, to, that you, you feel like you're going through a big change, okay? There's super fun. I love working with all of you um, consistently. It's really awesome. All right. Divine Feminines, main chakras for the post-eclipse. Oh, I have to talk about this again. Okay. Third eye again. Yeah. So we're still going through a third eye activation. That's what it was at the beginning of the month. There's the Empress. There is Mona Lisa. And 12th chakra activations, diamond, platinum, or rainbow rays, depending on where you're at. What is that? A DNA rewrite, a head rewrite, a body rewrite, um, expanding our consciousness where sometimes I say words, they don't make any sense. Next thing you know, a month later, oh my gosh, what's that word starseed that she's talking about? Okay, that's what I mean. Our, our, uh, we're getting a reboot. Our, uh, we're getting new software downloaded, basically. Bottom of the deck, crown chakra, Archangel Michael protection. Now, nothing to fear. I think we shared about this earlier. It's just about making sure that we're doing something like the violet flame, clearing our energy and sealing our energy field. And again, those are some tools that I offer in sessions. I also go through a dissolving of cords and whatever, whatever works for all of you. Okay. So that's for divine feminines. Some masculines, what inner chakras are. Yes, the you know, the pet healing, the distance communication sessions that I offer. Um, I was almost going to be a vet. That's what I, when I arrived on the planet, that's one thing I absolutely knew. I just loved and adored animals. I grew up with two cats and two dogs and I communicated with them right away. I thought that that was normal. So, um, I've offered, I'm offering those sessions again as well. So yes, if you feel like you're having any worries or concerns about your pets, that is there for you too. Okay. Divine masculines, chakras for this portal, post eclipse bottom of deck this came forward too so pink energy self-love and self-care and this is also related to um, some of you might be reconnecting and it's going to start as a friendship so be okay about that okay but yeah it's about um, divine masculines taking good care of yourself self-love and self-care that's part of your journey at this time um, what else did I want there's something else that just came in about that there might be some, some of you might have known each other since childhood and you're going to be reconnecting or you have reconnected. Um, one of the beautiful souls I had a session with today was really curious about whether or not she would connect with her twin before the lion's gate. Her, for her union, I got 2020. That's what her higher self gave me. However, your higher selves will always reconnect both of you when you're the same vibrational frequency. That's the same with everyone, but especially the twin flame journey right now, it's very um, unique. It's individual and it is a timing thing with the universe because there's so much more going on than just the union. So I just want you all to know that, that your reconnection or your staying connected is based on heart opening frequency, vibration, and how much work everyone is doing personally, okay? Some of you are very aware of chakras in your light body and what's going on and others are not. And that's a big vibrational frequency shift. As soon as, as, soon as our hearts open and we awaken, our chakra system changes, the energy field changes, and other beings feel that and know that, even though they're not consciously aware that something's happened, but it has it's changed. So sometimes we can clear a room without even meaning to. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's another story. Okay. 
self-love and self-care for divine masculines may be reconnecting um, as a friendship. The other two cards, again, Archangel Michael came in, crown and third eye chakra, I am present. So this is about divine masculines becoming sovereign and um, crown chakra opening and aware of ascension, awakening, and the spiritual journey, okay? Or the next level of the journey. And then the soul star joy, uh, one of my favorite cards, joy, happiness. Um, that's where we all want to be. We don't want to be in our root chakras and cranky and angry and in fear. No, we want to be in happiness and joy like the dolphins. So that's where this is heading. That's where this is heading. And that's where the sovereignty is heading, choosing joy in each moment. That's for all of us. Okay. And again, flower of life, um, heart chakra is the main card that came forward. Oh, this one kept falling out of the deck too. Music. So all of you who love music, are musicians, creators, uh, keep going. The planet needs your light, needs the music, needs the frequency. So soul missions, life purpose, it's time to start pulling the plans together or moving forward. When your brain functions, like mine did today, I was able to start pulling some stuff together for the website. So just pull some soul mission cards just general for the collective and just sort of see this because this i feel is going to speak to someone who's going to watch this oh interesting okay just asking for the best messages for us right now they're making me smile okay bottom of the deck spending time out in nature being out in gaia which i'm going to be doing soon so just know and then for some of you gaia is your key you know you know you want to do something about Gaia, about raising her vibration, about cleaning her up. So um, that was the message that came forward with that. I'm gonna do pull the, um, show the cards in the order they were pulled. Number one, protected, that's Archangel Michael. Again, protection came in a couple of times. You are fully protected. However, when we know that we have a light body, it's up to us to create energetic um, seals and boundaries, and that gives us more boundaries in our um, reality. And I can assist you with that, too, if you have questions about that. Um, children. Some of you may be wanting to work with children. But what the message I got was, like, inner child play. Have fun. That'll keep us in joy. So, yes, we have to do things. We have to do the adulting. But then we're to, then we're to um, get back into our inner child. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So that might be for some of you. That may, might be your call right now. And or you are a parent. And your one of your soul mission roles is to assist your kids through um, through the gateways and through the the awakening. Okay, body work. Uh, so, so some of you are being called to do some type of body work. Maybe get back to the gym and or go to for a massage or um, study. Uh, your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. So that's perfect, okay? And our physical body has memory and it, it um, is loving that we're exercising it in one way or another, all right? So I think that that's it. Let me just see, hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm hoping the comments work. Hello, Marley. Um, you're from the UK. Hi, Marlene from the UK. Just sharing about Twin Flames and Starseeds and the, uh, the post-eclipse portal. Let's see. Hi, Leo Goddess. Welcome. Leo Goddess. My divine masculine came to see me today. He says he wakes up in a sweat. Yeah, that would be, the, um, that would be his uh, DNA being activated. Hello, Jerry. Aloha. Um, Oh, Leo Goddess. So he's aware now that he's awakening. That is so super cool. Thank you for sharing that. I, does anybody else have any questions? How are you all doing? Let me just see. Um, I'm just going to see. Hi, Anna. I'm not too sure if everybody's still here. Welcome, Elizabeth from Arizona. Thank you, Leo Goddess, for sharing that your divine masculine is um, aware of the ascension and the awakening. That's so, so awesome. Okay, everyone, I'm going to sign off. If you wish a session or reading or booking and you were interested in the Lionsgate or your own personal journey, your twin flame union and your timeline, your soul mission, check out my website. Email me if you'd like a session. I have some specials on today. Love you all. If you, if you love this video, please share it. 
I love uh, connecting with all of you. It has been an amazing journey and I'm deeply grateful for all of you. Have a beautiful afternoon, everyone. Bye.